Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Geometry. Today's notes are on 1.4, Measure and Classify Angles. So, um, name three angles in the diagram. So our first angle, right here, this would be angle W, X, Y, or you can call it angle Y, X, W. Okay? So it's that top angle right there. We always name the vertex as the middle letter. Our next angle, we could name angle Y, X, Z, or angle Z, X, Y. And then the last angle is going to be the entire angle, which would be angle W, X, Z, or angle Z, X, W. And we need to name angles because otherwise we wouldn't know, are you talking about the angle here, right here? Are you talking about this right here? Or are you talking about the whole thing? And that's the importance of being able to name the angles so that we know which um, measurement you're actually speaking about. That's why we cannot name this angle X because angle X could be any of these three angles. So we can only name an angle by the vertex if there's nothing else competing with it. If it was just an angle alone, then you can name it by its vertex. But because this one has that ray coming out of it, creating three different angles, we have to name it with three letters. Use the diagram to find the measure of the indicated angle. Then classify the angle. Okay? So, angle KHJ. KHJ. We start at 0 degrees, not 180, right? Going from 0 to, what do you guys think? 55 degrees, right? Angle GHK. GHK. So we're talking about this angle. So do we start at 180 or 0? Zero? 0, right? So it's going to be 125 degrees. Angle GHJ, GHJ, so that's talking about this whole big angle, GHJ, what is that? 180 degrees, straight line, straight angle. GHL, GHL, right angle or 90 degrees. So this one's a right angle. This one is a straight angle. This one is what? Obtuse, obtuse, like obese, um, big, fat, right? Large. Greater than 90, less than 180. What about this one? Acute, like a cute little baby, small, tiny, greater than zero, less than 90. Okay, acute, tiny, like a cute little baby. Obtuse, think large, big, obese, obtuse, big. Greater than 90, less than 180. And then your um, straight angle is that 180 degree straight line. And a right triangle, or right angle, because right triangles have a right angle, right, is 90 degrees, like the corner of your piece of paper. Name all the angles in the diagram. Which angle is a right angle? So we have angle what? How about this one? PQR, good. Another one. RQS, good. And one more. PQS. Which one is the right angle? The PQS. This little red box here says I am a right angle. I am 90 degrees. Draw a pair of opposite rays. What type of angle do the rays form? So opposite rays. What did we learn about opposite rays? They form a, ooh, I can't draw. They form a straight line, 180 degrees. So they form a straight angle. Opposite rays form a straight angle. Given that the measure of angle LKN is 145. LKN, the whole entire thing, is 145. What is the measure of LKM? So they want to know what is the measure of this one and what is the measure of this one separately. So what do I do? What do I know? 
I know that they add to 145, right? So add them and set them equal to 145. Combine like terms, 2x's plus 4x's is 6x's. 10 minus 3 is 7. Subtract 7 from both sides. 6x equals, what's 145 minus 7? One forty five minus seven. One thirty eight, guys, because five and two more, right? So getting to forty and then two more. Okay, sorry, you guys were saying all different numbers. One thirty two, I heard. I heard one thirty seven. I heard all kinds of numbers. Six divided by six is one, so we're left with our one x, right? So x equals one thirty eight divided by six. Well, six goes in there two times would be twelve, with eighteen left over, so that's three. So twenty three. X equals 23. So now that we know that, we plug back in. 2 times 23? 2, whoa. 2 times 23 plus 10. So that'd be 46, 56, right? So our first angle is 56 degrees, and our second angle would be 4 times 23 minus 3. 4 times 23 would be 92. 4 times 23? Well, 4 times 25 is 100, so it's definitely not 112. So it would be 100 minus, it's missing 2 times 4 minus 8. 100 minus 8 is 92, so I was right. So 92 minus 3 is going to be 89 degrees. And let's just double check. Another double check is 89 plus 56 better add up to 145, do they? Does 56 plus 89 add to 145? All right, then we're good. Given that angle KLM is a straight angle, find the measure of KLN and the measure of LMN. All right, say, so I just said that wrong. N, L, M. Sorry. So we want to know this angle. We want to know this angle. And it's telling us that the whole thing is a straight angle. Knowing that it's a straight angle tells us what? They equal to 180. So 10x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3 equals 180. 10x's plus 4x's? 14x. Negative 5 plus 3, negative 2, add 2 to both sides, 14x equals 182, divide by 14 on both sides, x equals 13, that'd be going once, we'd have 4 left over, 42, All right, so now that we have x is 13, 10 times 13 minus 5, 130 minus 5 is 125. Over here, 13 times 4, 26 times 2 would be 40, 52, 52 plus 3, 55. Double check, do these two add up to 180? 5, 6, 7, 8. They do, so we know that we're good and that we didn't mess up on any of that mental math. So we have angles of 125 and 55. All right, so this is a right angle, and we want to find these two. So what do we do? Add them, set them equal to 90. 2x's plus an x is 3x's. 2 plus 1 is 3. 90 minus 3. 87. 87 divided by 3. 3 goes in there twice would be 6. 27 more. 
9. So x is 29. 2 times 29 plus 2. Well, 30 times 2 is 60 minus 2. 58 plus 2, 60. 29 plus 1 is 30. So 60 and 30 add up to 90. We're good. The photograph shows some of the angles formed by the ropes in a trapeze apparatus. Identify the congruent angles. If the measure of angle DEG is 157 degrees, what is the measure of angle GKL? Okay, so DEG, DEG is 157. Do you guys see how this has two circular arc marks? All right, those arc marks say, hey dude, I'm equal. This has two, this has two, so they are equal to each other. Over here, this single arc mark says, hey, I'm equal to this single arc mark. Okay? So, we want to know, what is the measure of angle GKL? GKL, that was this right here. It had two arc marks. This one had two arc marks. They're congruent. So, it is 157. Just like when we showed the tick mark saying, hey, I'm equal. Remember with the midpoint and stuff and when we were bisecting um, segments, the tick mark says, hey, dude, I'm equal. Well, arc marks say the same thing. It's just those are about angles instead of line segments. All right, so identify all parts of congruent angles in the diagram. Well, angle P is definitely congruent to angle R because they both have those two tick marks. So angle P is congruent to angle R. Angle T is congruent to who? T and S. Good. All pairs of congruent angles in the diagram have now been identified. In the diagram, the measure of angle PQR is 130 degrees. PQR is 130 degrees. And the measure of angle QRS, QRS, is 84 degrees. And the measure of angle TSR is 121 degrees. Find the other measures in the diagram. Well, angle 2, or sorry, angle 2, wow, my brain is not working. Angle T would also be 121. Angle T, the measure of angle T is 121. The measure of angle P is what? 84. Good job, because two tick marks go with two tick marks. In the diagram at the right, ray YW bisects angle XYZ. It bisects the whole angle, cutting it into two equal parts, whereas that's why these two tick marks are, these two arc marks are there saying, hey, I'm equal. The measure of angle XYZ W is 18 degrees. What is the measure of angle X, Y, Z, the whole thing? Well, if that's 18, this is 18, making the whole thing 36. Angle M, N, P is a straight angle. M, N, P. And ray and q bisects angle m and p. Well, if it's bisecting it, it's cutting it into two equal parts, right? It's cutting it into 90 and 90. Draw angle m and p and ray and q. Use arc marks for the congruent angles in your diagram and give the angle measures. Okay, so instead of those squares, they want me to do arc marks. Okay, arc, arc, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Make sense? And that is everything on your first lesson of today, which is on lesson 1.4, measure and classify angles. Please like our video and subscribe. Have a great day.